Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder and the April Fool's event has finally dropped here today, actually a day before April Fool's Day. Uh, and once again it is modern uh, or near future uh, themed. And it's quite cool this time, so we're in luck. This is mobile infantry, so it says, Soldiers, it's time to participate in an open field testing of advanced modern infantry equipment in urban combat. Four exoskeleton variants for different combat specializations will be available for you. Assault, sniper, uh, anti-tank, and man pads. You will also be able to use a preset of ground vehicles and helicopters. Try them out, and there's an assortment of prizes you can win depending on how much you play. Now, um, you can see your progress towards these in the nickname achievements, the mobile infantry window, as expected with an event. Fairly snazzy stuff. I don't know if I'll grind them out uh, completely, but I definitely have been enjoying this game mode. Uh, it seems that this is actually Edge of Tomorrow themed. There's also this bonus bundle that you can buy, which is only a thousand gold and seven days of premium, but it's only uh, ten euros, so... Not bad. So it says, in the not too distant future, a race of aliens called the Red Team invades Earth. Battles rage on the ground, in the water, and in the air. No army in the world can resist the invaders. No army but one snail. Major shell cage. Yeah, you can see it's referencing Edge of Tomorrow. Because the main character, played by Tom Cruise, is Major. Uh, I think it's. Is he the Will Cage or Bill Cage? Uh, I think it's Will Cage. Um, yeah. Point is, it's Edge of Tomorrow themed who died in battle but the impossible happens. He finds himself in a time loop. Time after time he arrives in the same battle, fights, dies and resurrects again and again. And each re repeated battle brings him closer to unraveling how to defeat the enemy. We know very little about the heroism of Major Shell Cage, but his last transmission was partially deciphered. And yeah, there you go. So, there's that. But, without further ado, let's get stuck into some gameplay so here we are, loading into, uh, this is actually my first game, and we are in the Assault class of uh, person. You may notice it's actually quite quiet, aside from the obvious gun sounds. Um, yeah, it's quite peaceful, just kind of roaming around. You do have a sniper mode, which you can access by pressing V. It's not all that useful in the Assault mode, to be honest. You get a 50 cal machine gun, and uh, a rocket launcher, smoke grenades as well. You also all all classes get equipped with a jetpack which you can use to jump to new heights and if you press shift which I'm doing now you can sort of crawl to make it a bit more stable. So here we are. This is the Severse 13 map as you will all be familiar with. Nothing has changed about the map itself. Yeah you can't take full damage um, but it's still quite cool just roaming around. It is in technically in realistic mode, so you will not be able to see the enemy markers like I can here. So there you go. Not a great start, actually, for your benefits. I should probably turn the uh, sound down. There you go. Yeah, we died um, to an enemy guy. I won't be able to show you all of the different classes, um, but next we're jumping into the sniper mode. They all look very similar, they just get a different main gun. So this time we have some sort of uh, semi-automatic rifle, which I found to be by far the most effective. It takes like one or two shots to kill an enemy with the sniper, and it's pretty easy to hit someone with it, rather than wasting your time with the heavy machine gun. So here's that. So we're making our way to the battle, and I must say this event has been a lot more fun than past War Thunder April Fools. I'm kind of annoyed it's near future tech again. It seems like it's been that a lot lately. Um, definitely for the last couple of years at least. But hey, this one's actually quite interesting. It's definitely unique. It's not just tanks with lasers again. So that's good. And you can currently see me failing to scale this building here, as I'm trying to find a way up. Not quite working out though. The battle is raging on without me. But soon we'll be able to put this good sniper to good use. But yeah, as I said, the sniper is definitely the recommended class, at least uh, by me. 
It's just easier to use, easier to hit. Yeah, just making sure they're dead. Because I haven't actually managed to kill anyone yet, so that's the thing. But don't worry, that opportunity will arise soon enough. I'm currently scanning the horizon for enemies that are alive, like that one. See you later. instant death. Why wouldn't you pick the sniper? There's another one there, brawling one of our guys. Bang, bang, instant death. So yeah, definitely play the sniper if you are going to try out this game mode. I'm not sure if there are other maps, I assume there are. Um, but I've only been able to get on Spurs 13 so far if there are other maps. So now with not many other enemies around, we're currently trying to find a new thing to do. Uh, I decided to test out my rocket launcher. I don't know how it aims because mine seems to, seem to keep firing down. But hey ho. And yes, there is a tank. There are tanks that you can spawn into. Well, it looks like my missile completely, well, missed. The tanks work just as you'll be familiar with in regular realistic battles. You earn enough spawn points and then bam, you can spawn in a tank. I didn't know this at the time, but apparently there are... Well, I only just found out, but there are a Russian team and an American team. So you either get to play with T-80s and MI-28s or Abrams and uh, Apaches. So that's a thing, which would kind of make sense, I guess. I suppose these tanks wouldn't be completely obsolete by this near future time. And yes, I did accidentally fire my missile, but it's too little too late as I get gunned down by uh, another assault who was just bringing all the lead onto the sea point. A team is at least winning though, although just barely. So with enough spawn points I can spawn in the T-80, I think, BVM. Yes, the T-80 BVM. Uh, you get a variety of shells and unlike in most tank realistic battles I would actually recommend bringing all sorts of different shells, one for every occasion. We've got some missiles, some anti-tank shells, we've got some high explosive because you're probably more likely to encounter the infantry than you will with the tanks. And of course you have the heavy machine gun and the coaxial machine gun. And I would recommend using your smoke as well. We also have a dozer blade which I don't think I realised at the time, although that's not really going to be very useful in this battle. One thing I must say, if it's really a complaint, I wouldn't call it a complaint because unless you're having to face one, but the tanks are a little bit overpowered. The mobile suits, unless you swarm one in a group, uh, the mobile suits are just not very good at dealing with the tanks, to be honest. The tanks are just very dominant in this game mode, as you'd expect, but still. So, we're still trying to find the enemy. Thankfully, the T-80 is quite a fast tank with its gas turbine engine, even in realistic mode. If you're familiar with my channel, then you'll know that I uh, don't play realistic too often because my computer won't let me. So, here we are. But it looks like we've arrived just in time and we've got a little squad. Uh, we have another T-80 as well. And they're lighting up that AA gunner who is jumping up and down, making himself harder to hit. Uh, I missed my shell, but oh well. Seems we've uh, encountered an actual enemy that might be serious trouble. There are Bradleys, there's IFVs in this game mode. Uh, they, the Americans get the Bradley, we get the BMP. The BMP3 that is. And we're gonna have to fall back because there are quite a lot of enemies as you can see. And we're being overrun. Yep, I did just fire a heat round into a man. <laughs> but, you know, guaranteed kill. It takes a few hits with a coaxial machine gun to get them, so... Uh, I see it was justified. I've acti activated my engine smoke system, although it seems to have worked against me here as I have kind of gotten lost in my own smoke cloud and I'm currently stuck against the side of a building and have very little clue as to what was going on. But it seems we're all good now. Our heavy machine gun is currently destroyed, so I don't have the gun, gun depression to get that guy. I'm trying to hit him, he's... But uh, I think we actually killed him there. <laughs> so there you go. So even with just the machine guns, the... Infantry are just not that good at dealing with the tanks. So yeah, I don't think we've lost any of our tanks yet. Still got the T-80 from earlier. Still with us. And it looks like we're going to follow them into battle. 
there are more. There's a lot more anti-tank troops coming around this time. Also, yes, you can use the night vision, obviously, on this tank. So I would recommend using the thermal sights like this. Because it makes them a bit easier to spot. And there's a lot of them over here. There's even a Bradley as well. And they are currently swarming that poor T-80. See, if we don't rescue them, then they are going to fall to them. So we fire the heat round, take care of the Bradley, that's probably the bigger threat. But there's still plenty of guys hovering around. Currently machining gun in this fellow. Yep. Heat round to the man. But there's more. I didn't realise at the time, but there is actually a drone up there. You might be able to see it hovering. Uh, I, did, I thought that was just like a bug or something. But no, it is actually a real thing. Yep. HE round for the man, decimated them. But yeah, you could see them swarming the T-80 there. I actually fire the HE round at the tank there and the explosion killed the man, so that worked. But it looks like there's an Abrams and yep, I'm not going to deflect that shell so easily as we were killed by the M1A2 SCP. But we have a horde of uh, points. We've actually got nine kills, which is not bad. And now we've spawned in the BMP-3. You can only spawn in each thing once, except for the actual troops themselves, where you get two spawns in each. And we've switched to um, missiles rather than the HE rounds. You do get a glut of HE rounds. I recommend you take them all, because like I said, you're probably going to be encountering more infantry than tanks. So make sure you make the most of them. But I've actually switched to the missile because I fancy getting revenge on the Abrams. We're beginning an assault on the A point, which is the last point held by the enemy. So, yeah, not a bad result. I actually can see myself playing this game mode for a decent amount of time. I don't think they'll ever be able to top Tailspin, um, which I absolutely love. That was roaring good fun, and not just because I managed to actually unlock all the planes for that, but it was just good fun. And obviously... When I first started the play playing this game, I didn't really know how to um, access the events tab, so I never got to try out some of the early ones, but there we go. Don't know what happened to that missile there, that's kind of disappointing. I don't know if that was a ghost shell or ghost missile, but it just seemed to completely miss. But there's definitely stuff going down on the A point. There's an Abrams being swarmed by our guys, but it looks like they can't quite finish them off. So we fire our missile, and it takes them out in a single blow. But there's still a sniper. So we use our 30mm auto cannon to take care of them. Uh, the game's about to be over, but there is another Abrams here. Missile hasn't quite reloaded. I'm trying to get their attention to stop them shooting our guys. Now we've reloaded, and... Well, we killed the driver, but that is the game. Not a bad first run. 11 kills and a win. Pretty nice going so far. Uh, so that was the mobile infantry game mode. I would thoroughly recommend you check it out. It's actually quite fun. Um, there's probably a lot more to it than what I could show you, but by all means, check it out. Um, it's not bad. So <laughs> that's all I've got for you today. Um, feel free to like the video. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe for more epic content, and hopefully I'll see you soon with some more War Thunder gameplay.